All right, if you caught my short video on my Instagram page and came in here to look at the rest of it, it's talking about organic material and organic matter. That 10 pounds of organic material turns into one pound of organic matter, but beneath the ground roots will make three times more organic matter than shoots will make. Um, my approach at this is over time, if somebody who's used mulch a lot in all the systems and still does, especially with clients and things, um, I'm trying to figure out ways to get away from using mulch. Um, first of all, it's not available whenever and if ever I do anything um, in areas that are difficult to get to or definitely not outside of the country. Uh, back in my home country in uh, South America, I'm from Uruguay, you're not going to be able to get a load of mulch. Um, so how are we creating organic matter in situations where we don't have all the energy input and it's a heavy energy input that it takes to create mulch in the first place. So it really comes down to growing the right types of plants beneath your systems so that you can create enough organic matter. Now we know for a fact that roots beneath the ground create more organic matter than shoots above the ground do. So you have to stick to prairie plants, you have to stick to metal plants in your food forest systems and um, in lawns. And this is a good way. Why, why do lawns not have the best soil in the world like prairies or meadows do? Um, and the reason for that is because they're not properly fertilized. They're not properly cut. Um, they're cut too much. Uh, there's a lot of things that are ill about lawns and the reason for why they are so high maintenance and so energy dependent and never create beneath the soil what they should be creating. But they could. And they could if we were able to just get used to a different type of lawn. Um, and that's a whole nother subject. Um, but so to increase organic matter, they would tell you to do three things. One is to not till, one is to reduce erosion, and one is to use cover crops. Now, I break this down into three different sections, which is build, which is not tilling, hold, which is prevent erosion, and maintain the system which in the case of cover crops is what they would recommend for example if you were farming um, but I use this across the board for my landscape scenarios for my food for scenarios or anything else that I'm doing for a client so those are the three keys to keeping organic matter in the soil and that goes regardless of the point of succession above the soil these those are the things you want to do um, I ask myself the questions why are prairies so successful at creating amazing soil. Why are meadows so successful, even though they're early in succession, is because they have the right combination of plants, and then when the animals come through to eat off of them, or when they die back at the right time of the year, there's enough growth happening beneath the soil, and all that dies back, and all that rapidly breaks down into um, organic matter. And this is the key to creating a soil rich in organic matter is the plants that you grow in in the early point of succession so if it's a food forest whatever you're growing underneath um, beneath all your layers of the food forest if it's in a lawn you can go towards a prairie or towards a meadow lawn one interesting fact that when my professor told me when I was in school really uh, messed with me was that pH does not influence the plant as much if there's a lot of organic matter in the soil. So if you have a soil rich in organic matter, even if it has, if it's acidic soil, it will, the plant will be able to get just as many nutrients for as if it were balanced pH. Um, this is a pretty amazing thing because pH is a big deal. And in agriculture and horticulture, you go way out of your way to balance out pH and do so much to it. When in all truth, all we really need there is to have enough organic matter in the soil. And um, so those are the steps that I recommend starting out with if you want to have good high organic matter in your soil. This is a short video. I want to keep this short. Um, if there's anything that you want to discuss or ask, feel free to reach out. Um, my next video will be about the humus controversy. And uh, does humus exist? Is there humus in the soil? Is there not? There's been mixed signs here, and I believe that there's not. And it has to do with pH, and it's a 
pretty interesting um pretty interesting field of study when it comes down to the things i had been discovering about humans in the soil and that anyways that'd be my next video check that out if you're interested and um thanks for watching